Hi, this is the Ampex VR1200B Restore and Adjust. And this is part three. I removed the old rubber pad from the uh, reels and uh, put a new one on so it's nice and shiny. And I put a, a reel on there to kind of hold it down so the adhesive will set. There was a collar around the, uh, the reel and uh, we've removed that, cleaned it, and uh, here we'll put it back on. Here are three springs and three plastic retainers that grip the reel and keep it onto the hub. I've cleaned them and uh, uh, wanted to make sure that they were all in the right condition. If they all work fine, you hear this sound and you see how those claws move in and out to grab the reel. I had to take the machine outside to blow off all of the uh, dust, dirt, and little pieces of tape. Obviously, we start from the top and work our way down. The uh, air compressor comes in real handy here. And I had to keep on going over the areas because uh, the little pieces of uh, tape would uh, settle back into the machine. They're very, very lightweight, obviously, and blow all around. Now watch here how all of these little tape bits come flying up out of the uh, card cage. And even after this, when I took it back inside, I would vacuum that uh, cage out to uh, get all the remaining bits and pieces. You can see on my arm, <laughs> the little tape bits fly everywhere. You can see a little dust coming out of the brake bands here that uh, signifies they're pretty dirty inside. And here's a circuit board that somebody put into the machine that's not in real good condition, and I have no idea what it does, so uh, I'll leave it alone. Look at this. Here are um, two of three trim pots that were knocked loose on the board. And here's the brand new replacements that, uh, that I recently installed. So that board is uh, functional again. And take a look here. You see the little nuts uh, <laughs> laying down on the inside of the card cage? That's not good. So we remove those so we don't get a short circuit. Take a look at these uh, contacts, these fingers on the circuit boards. The two on the left have been cleaned. The three on the right have not been cleaned. And this is how dirty... Uh, those fingers can get. They really get corroded. That's why it's hard sometimes to even pull them out of the machine because the corrosion has um, kind of uh, glued them in. Uh, here's some more little tape bits all over one of the card cages. Of course, that all has to be cleaned up and removed. This was uh, dirt that was inside that board. I uh, shook it out and uh, got this pile of, uh, of ugliness. And here is a filter that's uh, clean on the left, dirty on the right. Uh, this is part of the air filter, the Venturi system that uh, uses the vacuum to uh, suck the tape into the female guide. And uh, here we're replacing the two little felt filters. Uh, and then it goes into uh, this little can, this little jar, uh, inside the machine. And uh, the filter obviously tries to keep the air clean. Here is the uh, cooling fan, and uh, it sucks air through the uh, head through the video head uh, and it also sucks other stuff up you'll notice all the little tape bits now here at the bottom uh, that uh, yep sucked all of those up and uh, we have to remove that and of course that got all over the machine when I opened it up Let's take the video heads off. There are three screws. That's the last captive screw that, uh, that I've removed. I take the video head cover and apply a foam on the inside to uh, make it look nice and reduce uh, some of the noise. Here's what that uh, foam looks like. It's very tight, uh, kind of a craft type of a foam that's uh, easy to work with. And let's start putting some of the uh, machine back together again. Here's that top portion that uh, goes on the top. Here's the support for the uh, monitor bridge. And I can put one screw right about here to hold it in place. 
And then I'll start uh, tightening the screws down. And now let's put the monitor bridge on. And uh, let's get it uh, correct. Uh, it's backwards right now. So let's turn it around. And then there are a whole bunch of screws that go into that guy to, to uh, secure it. Here's the uh, erase head. And uh, these covers go on, but they, these don't go on too good because some things are broken. And I need to repair those. The broken bits, they're called caged spring banana plugs. And uh, thanks to Don Norwood for, uh, for this photograph. Also, he told me where to get these at Allied. We've got three of these guys uh, attaching the bottom cover. Here's a close-up of uh, one of the ones here on the left. And I uh, have to remove those and uh, put the new replacements in. I'm glad I've got the... Uh, a uh, tool that was skinny enough to fit inside there and remove it. There's a good example of a broken one and a new one. Also, uh, I take time to clean every circuit board with deoxid, uh, usually uh, first with alcohol, then with uh, the red, and then with the gold. Uh, drying between each stage. Uh, also, I check each capacitor in the machine to make sure it's operational uh, before I apply power. Uh, I use this ESR meter to tell me if the capacitor is good or not. 0.13, yeah, that was a good one. Also, I have to clean every circuit board because of uh, all the dirt and the tape bits. And uh, here's an example of just that one little section on that board, how, uh, how dirty things are. Uh, here's just a trim piece on the uh, left side of the machine that uh, I took off to clean. And uh, two screws on the back secure it to the frame. Now let's load up the machine. The uh, top portion of the cage is the signal system. The bottom portion is the servo system, uh, making sure that the right cards go in the, uh, <laughs> the right position in the right part of the cage. Don Norwood had a great suggestion. He said, take the bell comp and move it down uh, so that it's the first uh, part of the machine. And then put the fan in between the bell comp and the servo system. Um, that makes cooling of the servo system better because the bell comp doesn't block the airflow. Uh, that was a good idea. Here's an example of how difficult it is to remove some of these cards that have been corroded in place. Uh, I need to use a pair of pliers to actually pull them out, because if I try to use the, uh, the plastic pull, it's going to break. So let's pull the cards out of this cage a little quicker. And of course we have to suck up all of the little tape bits in the card cage. Of course this has to be done for each major uh, sub-assembly in the machine, the Amtec, Colortec, Procamp, and Velocity Compensator. Now let's put all those cards back in. They've been cleaned and inspected and hopefully they all should work. And this is what the machine looks like at the present time. Wait till part four, and uh, maybe we can get a picture.